To install the application, you go to the main product page on the website and scroll down until you find download links for either Mac or Windows. Go ahead and save the file on your desktop. Now once you have the file, go ahead and create a new folder to keep the application in. Now open the zip file up and drag BMW Logger into your folder. Now when you run the application for the first time, it'll create some new folders and also pop up an end user license agreement. And if you don't have the drivers installed, it'll automatically set that up for you. Now let's take a look at the preferences. We have the device list, which if your device was plugged in would show up, and the status input capture frequency. And under units we have temperature and speed. And under special we have shrink window width, which will get rid of the oil gauge if uh, you have a smaller PC monitor. And really that's it for initial setup. The application allows you to check and clear your codes for free. Plug in your device and then go into Preferences under Device and choose your cable. Once the cable is detected, it will show the name at the bottom and a green status light. Now let's open the error codes window. And all you have to do is simply hit Retrieve Codes in order to retrieve them from the DME. You'll notice the prominent codes are shown in red and the shadow codes are shown in gray. In order to clear the codes, simply double click on the module name and it'll ask you if you want to clear them. Hit yes and it'll go through the process and let you know at the bottom that it was successful. Once you hit retrieve again, it should be clear, but of course I'm on the bench so I'm going to have a couple extra. You can export the list of codes to either keep for reference or to give to your tuner. And it comes up as a simple text file. Another free feature we offer is the ability to clear DME adaptations by simply clicking Clear DME Adapts. If you go into License of Software in order to data log, you'll need to go to the Special menu and collect License Data. It'll pop up asking you for your name. And once you've entered that, it'll prompt you to save it into the Licenses folder. This needs to be done with the vehicle keyed on. You then send me the .lic license file. And in return, I would send you the key file that you need to put in the licenses folder. It's a very simple process. Once you're licensed, simply make sure that you have your device selected in preferences. Make sure the name shows up at the bottom, ready to log. And make sure the status is green. Then simply hit the connect button. You'll see the list load with the options for your DME and the real-time data will start streaming immediately. If you're trying to record a session, simply click the record button to start recording and then click it again to stop recording. By clicking save file, you can save your recording in order to send it to someone else or analyze it later. You can also go to the data log analyzer to view your recording right now. When you're finished viewing real-time data or recording, simply hit the disconnect button to conclude your session. Now let's take a look at how to set up and work with the data log analyzer. 
To access the menu, simply right-click. You can easily add and remove items as well as create new graphs. Now we're going to load a data log in by clicking load data log in the toolbar. Now once a log is loaded, you'll see that the left list is populated with all of the data and your graphs display your chosen items. Once a data log is loaded, you can click to scrub and see any point in time in the recording. Now let's go ahead and let this play so you can see it in action. You can also see that the list is showing the current data as well as the gauges. Now even while a data log is playing, you can click and move the cursor and it will go to that point in time on the recording. This can also help if you need to find a specific event without having to watch the whole thing through. One neat feature we offer is data log commenting, where if you find a point in time you need to mark, you can double click at the bottom and enter details about that specific event that you can look up later. To view comments, simply hover the mouse over the bottom portion of the graph and double click on any comment icons you find. We also support data log zooming, scrolling, and trimming. Now in order to trim a data log, simply click at your starting point while holding Option or Alt and drag to your stopping point and when you let go it will automatically trim to that section. Now if you want to go back and trim it differently, you can select Untrim Data Log from the menu. Our last feature for data logging is export to CSV. Simply click the button and save your file wherever you want. When you open it up, everything will be nicely formatted for you to view or process in a different application. Live graphing allows you to view the last 14 seconds of real-time info or playback. It's set up similar to the regular graphing where you can right click to add or delete graphs or add or remove items. We also allow you to quickly shut the live graphing window if you want to take a look at one of the gauges. And here's a quick example of what it looks like with playback.